Hey there everyone, today in this video I'm going to tell you about how to download the event log and the data log from your grid tie SMA inverters. I'm standing in a 1 megawatt plant in Ludhiana, Punjab and in here on the side we have this SMA inverters. I have a laptop and a LAN cable with me so let's have a look at it how we're going to download the event and the data log. See, uh, very frequently we download this data from the inverters because sometimes we are not there on the plant and we need to know what was there from the AC side as well as from the DC side. So all these faults which are faced by these inverters is recorded in an Excel and a PDF file by these inverters and we can download it and have a look at it date wise and time wise during their operational mode. So let's have a look at it, how we're going to download. Now here is your grid tie SMA inverter. The model number is Sunny Tri Power 60. It's a 60 kilowatt grid tie inverter. This is your dashboard and the display is here where you can see the real time generation and the generation which has been recorded by the inverter. You can see the status of the inverter. And here is your specification on the right pan of the inverter and the caution signs and the safety so in order to open your inverter you need to use an allen key and take out these screws and you can open the panel so inside the inverter let me keep the allen key so inside the inverter we have the dc cables and the ac cables and we have the earthing wire and the DC and the AC surge arresters for the protection so here you can see two cables these are communication cables uh, which are connected with SMA log managers in here I'm going to connect this LAN cable so if you're having only a single SMA inverter then uh, these communication wire won't be there so on my laptop now I will open the LCS tool you can download this tool from SMA website in the download section and you can install it on your system so here you can see it is not connected with any of the internet or LAN port so now this other side of the LAN port is connected with the laptop and now I'm going to insert it inside the Sunny Tri Power 60 inverter so I'll remove one of the LAN wire from the inverter and I will connect with my laptop see this other LAN cable which is connected with the inverter is connected with the data SCADA system weather monitoring system so that we can uh, monitor it online now you can see it is showing that uh, any device is connected with the LAN port without any internet connection. Now let's open the LCS tool. So here you will see the inverter manager, the first inverter which is connected with the LAN will load now. It will take a couple of seconds. See it's now showing that an inverter with particular serial number is now connected so we will double click on this inverter on the inverter manager and now it will ask you to log in inside the inverter set it to installer and enter the password provided this password need to be set by you during the first operation and installation of this inverter so i know my password i will simply log in Okay, now I have logged into the system now I can see all the status of my grids AC side as well as on the DC size side and all the parameters now I will click on the log section and here I will choose the inverter number I have all the list of inverters here because it is connected via LAN in a DC chain system so I will use the serial number provided underneath this barcode so it is 90801 so I will find my inverter in this list since it is a 1 megawatt system so all the inverters are here in this event manager so here's my inverter 
the event log is here now i will simply download it and it will ask me the path where i need to download it so i'll choose my desktop and i will save it so okay now it is saved this was my event log now i will download the data log which will give me the time wise and the date wise whatever surges on any operational mode and some issues it, it is recorded by the inverter so i will now download it it will take a couple of two three minutes since it's uh, heavy data like 70 80 mb like that so that's how we download the event log and the data log from the sma inverter so, so you can see the download has started once we are all done with the downloading of event and the data log from the inverter we simply take out the extension that is the lab I'll show you how to do it safely okay like here it is downloading the files okay now my file is downloaded so I will close the LCS tool and I will simply unplug the LAN cable from this port and connect the existing communication port back inside the inverter this is connected with our weather monitoring and plant monitoring system now you can see it is not connected with any port and you can see the event log is here recorded on your desktop where I choose the position to download it so I'll double click on this excel file and now you can see the uh, serial number and the version of the inverter and the date wise and the time wise you can see what was the operation of the inverter the date and the time so according to date and time you can see the status of the inverter that yeah it was performing well or not